Hey, what's going on, my party people? Welcome back to the Sea God YouTube channel. It's your boy Camping God. Today, we're going to be on the 79 Caprice once again, boys. Y'all seen recently, you know, we did a little bit of maintenance items, got it juiced up, everything ready to go. That way, she's nice and smooth to be cruised. Now, we got this booty kit. So, as you can see, it like leans back. I'm not the biggest fan of it leaning back, so I'm gonna try and handle that today. Also, you know, like our top piece here is a little loose. So, you know, we're just gonna try and overall get it juiced up a little bit better. Got our little pull string to be able to open her up. So this is how it's set up here. They added these, uh, I don't know exactly what you would call it, but these little straps of metal that go down. It's welded to the plate, which is the main support for the base. And they cut the bracket for the locking mechanism, which is basically kind of like a trunk lock or a hood lock. I don't know what you want to call it. But uh, yeah, so we're going to have to modify these because as you can see, it's like hitting right here. So it may or may not have been meant for this car, but we're going to cut these off and uh, see if we can get this setting down a little bit lower to be able to have our trunk, or not our trunk, but our our fifth wheel here, hoping to be able to set it down like closer. You can see it's got a gap here too. Well, I mean, it's hard to see, but just know that there is a gap, see there? So I'm trying to close that as much as possible. Uh, looks like our wheel is kind of hitting. So we might have to shave that or shave part of the frame piece. Uh, nothing too major though. Other than that, hold on, let me open it back up again. So this is what I was talking about right here on the edge of the wheel get you like a side profile view but yeah like right here we might have to shave this down more towards like those spokes or shave it down here either or you know because we need more clearance here you can see like where the wheel has been rocking it literally like right there and uh yeah they took this bracket off of its original mounting point or maybe it broke i don't really know but I'd like for it to go back there again. And then like we have all this gap right here. So we're going to try and space it down like closer to the bumper. See if we can just get it closer in general. Uh, if we do end up putting our Dayton wheel, then it'll move it back a little bit easier because those have a slightly higher offset. So that shouldn't be too bad, boys. Uh, wish me luck, boys. I, I already kind of moved it in too using these all threads. I moved it in closer so like it's just barely not touching the trim it might be a little hard for you guys to see but just barely not touching on both sides so we have decent clearance there mainly we just want it to be up a little closer to the car you know as straight up as possible as I can get it would be ideal because I'm not the biggest fan of like this angle I don't even want to focus, so the camera's not a fan either. But yeah, so we'll see what has to be done to be able to do that. And uh, we'll try and do it. Basically, huh? Alright, boys. So let me get to it. Alright, boys. So after a few slight modifications, uh, you could see we had to take down the wheel right here. Just a little bit though, you know? And then we had to get rid of the silicone that was hitting right there, as you could see. And then we trimmed this up more, opened it up. And uh, basically we should be able to like, bend that bad boy down. And then we're gonna, I cut off our, our mount here. It just used to be there, so I aligned the, uh, I lined up the knockoff how I wanted it. So it's gonna go sideways like that. And I uh, also tightened up this top strap. Kind of, you know, just so that it's not as loose as it was. But basically now, 
that's like how it's sitting right but that's not all the way locked in so it should be able to go that far now you know so as you can see we've kind of like closed up our gap right here between the booty kit and the bumper it sits like that but we're gonna try and get it as far as we can inwards like that if i can get it that far in to be right there that's sitting up pretty straight it's hard to get like a visual on it but it should be better that's for sure because as you can see right there it's still kind of hanging out so that much it's not a, a terrible lot to be honest with you it's just gonna have to hang out but before it was like out here or something crazy you know so we're just gonna try to get it in as much as we can uh basically i gotta pull the welder out now though and i'm gonna re-weld on this little stud that locks in back here so i got it marked here with this uh screwdriver markings so it's gonna sit right there and then from there we should be able to try and uh like finagle it to be able to get it to uh sit correctly all the time you know that's the idea so i'm gonna whip out the welder boys and get started on it all right boys so look at that that's almost upright could use a tiny bit more but keep in mind this is a 14 inch wheel so once we slap that 13 inch bad boy dayton in there we should be better off allowing it to sit closer but you can see in here how i got it actually let me open it up and show y'all so basically now our pull string is in the original position and as you can see i went ahead and i re-welded our little bracket back on also this piece so that thing is solid re-welded the two in the back also because somebody had broke them off but it makes it real smooth to pull the drawstring now but basically boys this is what we did here we just uh i cut it off how they had it and it was worn out from being put on and off so many times uh got a few tacks on it just enough to keep her there but basically what i'm mainly proud of is we didn't actually cut into the bumper for this now on some vehicles you may need to but once we go to a 13 then we definitely shouldn't have any issues you know what i mean so basically though you can't just put it back like this you know what i mean it won't latch into place so what i have to do is i have to reach in here so you'll see the locking mechanism here right there it is so that bad boy is not gonna lock in i have i actually have to like let me set you guys down hopefully you guys don't roll away i have to reach my hand in here and you can hear it lock into place so now that's about as stable as you are ever gonna get a booty kit especially with a wheel in it most of them you know they have a hubcap or whatever so there's not much weight but like look at this thing dude like that thing is stout you see a lot of cars especially hopping around and stuff and that thing is just flopping but this bad boy that thing is on there dude there's you really can't beat it look at the flushness like you look up here you could see how the booty kit kind of goes along right there with that trunk panel hella firme boys that is sick dude that's about like i said it's about as close as we're gonna get especially with the wheel and having a 14 boys it's basically straight um you can refer to the other videos to see where it used to sit but it was like way hanging out like you could see a fat gap like we've damn near closed the side gap right here see you can see there's a tiny bit of gap there but not nearly as bad as it was before before there was probably like a half inch gap right here also from this piece to like the trim of the car bumper so i closed up that gap and i moved in the uh the wheel and it's so much more sturdy and like the pull string is always going to be there now and like i mean look like you reach down boom right there you pull it it pops the spring so right there i mean you know like some of them you have to pull it and then open it at the same time but this one will pop it just won't close you feel me so you got to hit it with this one watch i'll try and see if i can if i can uh show you guys how i do it okay so basically you have to reach in here right here where my finger is at let me get a better view for you guys see that piece of the pin that piece you hear it lock in 
And there you have it, brothers. Sturdy as can be, boys. So, uh, I was trying to uh, throw the alignment in here, but I think we're going to save that for another time yet again. This is probably going to wrap it up on this booty kit, boys. Um, whenever we actually do change the wheel, then we'll see what's good with it, because we're going to be going from a 14 to a 13. But either way, boys, you know how we do it on the Seek Out YouTube channel. We're going to make it work. Here's a nice little booty shot of the box for you boys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, my guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Keep it OG. Stay low riding. Hit the switch for your boy. And stay tuned because I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, alright? Later.